Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the show. We are playing Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Oh, hey, look, another thing. Another I'm letter. Joined by Levi here as we take Wazd <coughs> on his adventure. Okay, unsolicited letter. This is your big chance. Do you need an empty bottle? We only have one of each. Yes, okay, good. Awesome, thank you. Except he charges a shit ton of fucking money for those. Do you want to take over here? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll Okay. Go. So, I'll gamepad back to Levi. Hang on here, off. let me uh, get situated. I was like in relax mode. Oh, that's fine. I've got to... save you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was in relax mode the last time around. I've got to get in here to the game. All so, right. So, there's a blue dude somewhere on there if you even want to bother with him. I, I don't fucking care. A blue dude? like Blue choo-choo. The... Oh, a blue choo-choo? Yeah. They yeah. give up the rare blue potions. No, he can go so and die. So, the I fish is him. in the direction you're looking at if you care, but otherwise... Oh, holy shit! That was a good dodge! <laughs> Where's he at now? I don't know. He he was over there somewhere when I was pulling... There, oh, he, there is. he is. And then, uh, you'll have to go, I think, due south to, uh, get back on track. But, yeah, there there is a lot of fun with this game just swimming around or sailing around. Like, you know, the King of Ride Lions is all, We need to go here next! You need to hurry! The world's in danger! And as Link, I'm like, yeah, but I can sail over here and dick about with rocks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, there's something very relaxing about the whole uh, sandboxy kind of deal. Yeah, I like it like that. It's a good, it's a good game. Absolutely. One of the best Zeldas probably in the in the past it's funny because this game is actually pretty old it's different seeing it remastered do we ever figure out when this game came out <laughs> oh uh, yeah we did it's on the title screen i think we did let's see but copyrights and stuff don't necessarily mean that's when the game came out per se the best that's way true. to know that is to look up the release date fuck i'm sitting right beside my yeah you got supercomputer there <laughs> like Boot that shit up, man. Let's see. Wikipedia. Bastion of knowledge and accuracy that it is. Yes, it is. Or I, Google. Google is a bastion of knowledge as well. I have to confess, I actually had a, uh, a, a reasonable political debate with somebody on Facebook, which was a thing that I didn't know could actually happen. So, this game was released in North America on March 24th, 2003. Wow. So it's over 10 years old. Wow. That's amazing. Oh and Phantom God. Hourglass. I forgot about the Phantom Hourglass. Was that a handheld? Yeah, it was a handheld. I need to pull that up too. So the Phantom Hourglass was a DS game. Oh, wow. I used the same art style. Yep. And so Dude. Spirit Tracks. I need to pick that up too. Wait, Spirit Tracks did Toon Link also? Yes, sir. Let's see. All right, we're still catching up with Facebook while I'm watching you play too. No problem, man. Let's see. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Okay. I had to submit a CV today. Well, not had to, but I'm trying to figure out what the difference is between a CV and a uh, um, a resume, but. From what I gather, it's pretty much length. Like, CV is, like, way more summarized. I don't even remember what CV stands for. A CV is more summarized than a resume? Yeah. As if a resume wasn't already fucking summarized enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, with a resume... With a resume, you're supposed to list all of your job experience, but then a CV, you're only supposed to list relevant experience. So, like... I would like that better. Yeah, so like thanks, if I thank the shit for that god. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I if I apply for a writing job, I wouldn't put that I worked at Walmart. That kind of thing because right. they don't give a shit. Right. Unless it's actually relevant. So I would put IGN at the top of my list. But um yeah. the other thing with the CV though, like one of the main reasons why most employers are going to a CV is because it lets you hide your age. Like, one of the things my mom was worried about, um, I was trying to convince her to get a new job because she doesn't like her current job. And um, she said that no one's going to hire her because she's X number of years old. You know, and I'm like, why would they know? You know, you look younger than you are. And she said, yeah, but as soon as they see what year I graduated from, they'll know. And I'm like, why put the year you graduated? I, I don't put the year I graduated from college. You don't Employers even need don't to put... Shit. You don't even need to put... After you have college education, you don't even need to put high school on there. Exactly. 
I so mean, that's that's the difference. Like, like, like people who tell tell me to build resumes at college and stuff, they say, you know, once you once you have college experience, there's really no need to have high school because they right. know that you've had high school to be in right. college. And all they care about anyway is your last level that you've. I mean, graduated. what college actually lets you go to their pl- their institution <laughs> without a, a high school diploma? Exactly, I mean, or at least a GED. Let's which face is it, the, you know, right? But the yeah, GED. exactly. The GED. The GED. <laughs> the GED. Once you have the GED, you can go to college, or you can join the military. So my Some mom was even military. said, you know, that she didn't even think about that. But when she was in in school, you were supposed to put that kind of detailed information in a resume. But now people don't want to see it because they don't have fucking time. Right. CVs are supposed to be under a page and a half, like a page and a half to two pages, just what you need to sell who you are to your potential employer. But there is a difference. Like, if you work for the American federal government... I only say American because I have international fans who watch this channel. Anyway, if you apply to the to the federal government, they want to know everything. Like, one of, the, one of my favorite expressions that was used in a how-to-apply-for-a-job kind of website, they said, um, if you apply to the federal government, they want to know even your hobbies. And they want to know in as much detail as you're willing to share. So if on your weekends you dig ditches, they want to know what kind of shovel you use. They want I use to- a flat bottom shovel to dig my ditches. It's a hard ass job, I'll tell you. And I never spend one moment of it sober. Hell no, I drink rum and shit the <laughs> whole time. And then I ask for jobs. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Who's digging ditches? Who gives a fuck? It fuck doesn't have yeah. to be straight. Fuck ditches and diggage. So, um, but yeah, most employers are looking for CVs now, and especially international companies, which like is like when sort you of say I CV, I, I think of a car part, like a CV <laughs> joint. You know what? I'm going to, like, destroy the... Uh... Now, see, I have a fan, Zugawug's Trollbane. She's, like, our number one fan who always looks this stuff up, but she apparently had her internet cut off, so she can't uh... She 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 can't be here for us. Okay, it stands for... Oh, God, it's Latin. Curriculum Vitae? Vitae? I guess. V-I-T-A-E? Vitae. Vitae? Uh, provides an overview of a person's experience and other qualifications. In some countries, a CV is typically the first item that a potential employer looks at. Yeah, so like, some employers actually want both your CV and your resume, but they're going to ask That's for your scary. CV first. That is scary. What? Wanting the both. Bird? Oh, no, why? Like, they'll, they use the CV to weed out people that they know they don't want, and then they'll look at a closer background check before they make that a decision. That means they don't have a lot of jobs to offer, that's for sure. Well, the, I know the government likes doing that. Like, the federal government wants your CV first. And only, uh, lately, they want your CV first. And then they'll worry about your full resume. They don't give a shit. Yeah. But, man, looking for a job is annoying now. Oh, but yeah. What what's always bothered me, like, I keep saying, you know, everyone knows I work at Walmart. I've been trying to get out. And... I don't really know how to apply for a white collar job because my college, which is fucking University of Phoenix, um, never really helped you with any of that stuff. They just sort of left you to your own devices. The only thing Phoenix did for me is they keep this database of email addresses of Phoenix alums and basically they make it available to everybody. So, like, you volunteer to basically put your name in this list of names. Mm-hmm. And then, so after I graduated, I went in there, and they're like, what kind of job do you want to be? So I kind of wrote writer. And it gave me a list of, like, 400-some-odd names. I mean, what am I supposed to do with that? So I just emailed, like, five out of the blue and said, hey, I graduated from Phoenix. You were on this list. You could help me. You know, but it doesn't list when those people graduated or if the emails are even current. So I got no hits, so I said, fuck it. I mean, Phoenix doesn't really help with any of that stuff. Wow. That's why if I could do it again, I would not go to Phoenix. Don't go to Phoenix, kids. Do not go to University of Phoenix. They overcharge, they don't help you, and their programs are crap. That's a testimonial for you. That's it's almost wrong. I, well, see, the, the whole thing is I didn't realize Wright State was so close to my apartment. Like, it's, it's as close to the apartment as the mall is. Wow. You know, and the buses go right there. So it's like, why the hell did I not? When did I stop the timer? I have no idea how long this episode has been going for. 18 minutes, 46 seconds, and, s- and, and there you go. Apparently. Well, according to my timer, it's been going on seven minutes. So we're going to just go 13 minutes from this point. I don't know if that's going to be over 20, but it probably is. I don't know. I, I must have bumped it when I reached for the uh, keyboard just now. So probably didn't lose too much time. Whoopsie-daisy. 
So, okay. So, let's see. On the story, you went to the thing to try to find the water spirit. And right. We've, d- we've been, we've been to totally, the, like, not talking about the story. It doesn't fucking matter. It but, yeah, matter. We, went to the water, we went to the place where the water spirit was supposed to be. Island was destroyed. Island was cursed. Nothing was there. Jaboon has moved elsewhere. I'm currently heading right now to Alset Island. Notice that everything is now in a storm because shit just hit the fan. So uh, basically, we're headed to Alset Island to just solve our problems. Also, and it's shit. permanent night, which is also not fun. Permanent, yeah. Permanite. Ganon's Ganon's fartitious evilness has just permeated every every molecule of air in this in this world. What a goddamn asshole. Yeah, I know. That's all I can say about him. Yeah, what a cock. But I mean, just like... What amazing t- ch- taste and clothing, though. <laughs> yeah, dude, he has the best turtleneck I've ever he, seen. He does. That, that turtleneck is the shit. I would shit. totally wear it if I could. I would actually wear a cape if it was socially acceptable. Yeah, dude, that'd be like a short cape, though. Not like a Batman cape, but like a cape that only goes down just past my ass. Not only would ass. I wear a cape, but I would scream at random bystanders. I would just see him and I'd be like, Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey! We need to be the hero of our own quest. Like Look at all them fucking doable. treasures. I bet half Fuck of them do are it. rubber boots. and. I yeah. Wait, what? You can fish up rubber boots? No, I'm just, oh, okay. I'm just kind of fucking with you. But I was going to say, that'd be awesome. Uh, I really don't want to get those. That's just going to be way too much time, and we're trying to roll with the story here. Fair enough. We'll, we'll, uh, um, we'll just sail on the outside. I'm a island. big fan of Animal Crossing and uh, yes, Harvest Moon. I like it. And I like Crossing. how when you fish up shit and Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing, even when you fish up boots See, and shit, Harvest Moon, it I don't still know moves around. About, but if it's anything like Animal Crossing, I might like it. Um, yeah. I think you would like Harvest Moon. We could LP a Harvest Moon. I'm sure that won't piss everybody off. I love Animal off. Crossing. That game, for some reason, is addicting. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that game is addicting. Harvest it's- Harvest Moon is Animal Crossing, except you don't have to worry about... Oh, God. Oh, man. Well, one down. <laughs> oh, fuck. There's another one who popped up. These guys are serious. There you go. They're always this bad when you come Jesus. to Outset Island. Are they? Maybe that's. I don't the know why. God, Fuckers. no wonder Link. No wonder Link never left his uh, home island. Fucking Fuck bastards. that noise. Sharks everywhere and shit. Shouldn't what? have to deal with that. Man, it's playing the Super Ganon music right now. And this sea looks really <laughs> weird. Like it's not even that mad right now. It's kind of calm, but yet it's like lightning outside and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you pass through there and you get to start collecting shit? That's cool. Yes, I think that I is. never noticed that before. I think that's the goal. Anyway. I thought that was just like a guide to sort of show you where you were going. No, it should take you through these drums, and then it's like a game almost. Right. Oh, that's fine. And that's good to know. Because I usually ignore those for some reason. It never this occurred to me. This is a shit game, though. <laughs> this is shitty. Yeah, but you get some rupees with no See, risk. That looks purple to me. Yeah. That looks purple you're right. to me, Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Because of the light. That's stupid. That ain't blue. Yeah, fair enough. If you're going to have a freaking blue rupee, then do it right. <laughs> the sea is more blue. Yeah. That's purple <laughs> as hell. Give me 50 rupees, bitch. I feel like I'm being cheated. You are being cheated, but you're... a Stupid kid who just turned nine. That's so you know, man, I gotta take this coat off, or I'm gonna fry in here. Oh yeah, I always have the temperature really warm in here. Do you want me to turn it down? No, it's not that. I'm okay. Just, I'm currently halfway, uh, <laughs> halfway in in uh, the realm of uh, where my blood runs very thin. You're deep in your cups. Yes, it's wonderful, really. <laughs> I mean. I'm actually Last drinking. time I wasn't even at all drunk, and this right. time, and I wanted to be, and that was what really, <laughs> and that was what really made me angry. Like, you know, you're an alcoholic <laughs> when you get angry that you ain't got your drunk. You can't get your drunk on, you know. That bronchitis couldn't drink because I was on so many damn medicines. You know, never mix this Tylenol and alcohol, kids. You know, bad mixture. I just had this image of you waking up next to your girlfriend. The first thing out of your mouth is, "Where the fuck's my beer?" We're in the Fuck is not. Oh, wait, I would say not beer for you. Where be whiskey. Where the fuck is my bottle at, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> she, no, she'd God, kill, I she'd, never she'd drink. She'd kill me. She'd murder me. She'd cut my head off. I, yeah, I believe it. <laughs> like, Your I w- girlfriend's awesome. I wouldn't be alive. Um, be, uh, I never, uh, man, I, I only drink socially. 
which is what a lot of alcoholics say. But anyway, yeah, you know still. what? And you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay this on the table for the fans right now. I drink alone. <laughs> <laughs> I I sit in my room, man, and I get up on the games and stuff, dude, and I just drink down. Ah, that's fine. Hey, man, you know what's what's good is what's good, you know. Actually, I I've always preferred that. Like, when, all right, um, all right, all right, all right. Uh, just to not to like interrupt you or ah, anything, go, but go. We're, we're about to uh, we're about to bear witness to a shortcut here. A shortcut? Yes, a shortcut. Oh, okay. All, All right. right, so grandma's sick. Grandma's not feeling real good, you know. Right. And look, she's she's tripping. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so she, grandma she gra- cups too. Right, grandma's not feeling good right now. So w- what you're actually supposed to do in the storyline is you're supposed to head back to the top of the mountain where you first see uh Oh, uh, oh, pirate girl. Right. And uh, you're supposed to get a fairy out of the fountain. Oh, right. Well, uh, we well, got a fairy. We have a fairy. Fuck and, it. And if this works, it should. It should. It did. It Excellent. Works. All so right. So we just grabbed a fairy from the previous dungeon, and then we gave the fairy to Granny. And Granny, look at Granny. Oh, my God. Oh, hell yeah. See, she's alive. She's okay. Oh yeah, there's there's nothing that invigorates you more than a cute blonde girl touching every part of your body as fast as possible. <laughs> that would reinvigorate the dead, yes, as you saw probably. from Grandma here. Probably. So probably. Are you even gonna bother going? Oh yeah, we can get a fairy at the fairy fountain. Fuck it. Why mm. even bother going through that bullshit? I know. Like I don't I think mean, she even gives you anything, does she? She gives you like some soup. No, no, not Grandma. The fairy up at the. Oh, she, yeah, she don't give me nothing. Yeah. No. Fuck it, then. Shit, I mean, she maybe she does, but we can always head back there later and collect her bounty. That's right. We can go back later and connect the booty. Oh, and you get the potion for it, which has two potions. Yes, and the elixir Fuck soup it. is good shit, and it also increases your, your strength when you have full health. That's right. Well, Doubles. Hell. Doubles. Hell, that, perfect that was for, worth it. Perfect for slamming some bosses and shit. That's better than a hot girl touching every part of your body. Yeah, man, you got hot soup touching every part of your body. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think I needed that visual out of the corner of my eye. But thank you for that. We'll have to do that to Rachel when she gets back in here. Uh, (laughs) See, even Link agreed with that. That's what I'm talking about. That was was wild. She's back. Never mind. Yeah. You don't want to know. Spur of the moment. Yeah, spur yeah, of the just, moment. You don't want to know. Yeah. Go back to your, your fun homework while we're out here playing Zelda. Fun work. That's, the canon is that we were making out. Really? Oh, God. I don't what even know how to respond to that. What was that? <laughs> well, Rachel's a big fan of... I don't even know if I should say this on the air, but... Do it? All right. Well, she's a big fan of Yaoi, so she gets turned on by seeing dudes make out with other dudes. Uh-huh. Which, you know, the first time I heard that, I thought it was weird, but it's like most guys, myself included, get turned on by seeing two hot women make out, so I sort of, you know, well, I it's mean, like, eh, yeah. okay. <laughs> it makes sense, I Whatever. guess. Whatever. I mean, no judgment. Should yeah, be. exactly. No judgmentalist in this. Whatever we, works. We do the same thing. Now, her desktop pictures, there is a lot of judgment for her desktop pictures. There are dudes in positions that are physically impossible with other dudes. It's oh, terrifying. shit. It's fucking terrifying. I don't even want to oh, see Oh, you need that. your bombs. I don't even want to see that. Let's now see. I'm scared as fuck. You don't have your bombs, do you? You are going to have to go back up there, right? Doesn't she give you your, the bombs? The no, you get the bombs top? at Windfall Island. Wait, what? Win- oh, okay. oh, we were supposed to go there first. I'm dumb. Okay, we're supposed to go to Windfall first. Oh, that's fine. You're but still- you know what? We, we, we've, we've taken care of a problem that Absolutely. was originally going to be a problem. Absolutely. So, you know. And you got your potion earlier, so fuck right. it. And we didn't end up using the ferry because we, you know, so we use the ferry for the right thing. That's right. I feel like. Saving time. I feel Sequence like, breaking. Right. We've Except done. not really, but yeah. All right, well, Windfall Island is like. Northeast. Ish. Oh, Fuckish. <laughs> Well, we're having a good time just bullshitting, so let Link sail across. Who cares? Yeah, that's true. He can he can sail. He can handle it. It's he's a, he's a tough boy. Let's see, it's it's that way. Northeast. Yeah. yeah. And he's. Yeah. There you go. Rock on. So we're headed there now. To awesome. Windfall Island, and we're just gonna like cruise away. That's fine. 
and we're just gonna let this he let this go. So, what the hell was I talking about when Grandma interrupted us? It was Grandma's fault, really. Oh, damn, Grandma. I don't even fucking know. I don't care. We can move on to other topics. But, on. uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I forget the little theme song I came up with, though. That's fine. I, I'll, I can back it, it up. That's I'm, I'm glad that you got that <laughs> on the recording, because I think that'll oh, look, be... There's a game for it. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Fuck <Nah>. it. <laughs> no We're one's touching the control pad at this point. We're leaving the booty behind, maybe. That's That's right. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> so so we're about to go see some pirates, kick some pirates' ass, take their bombs, go back to the island, you blow know, some shit beat up. them there, blow some shit up, get a fish, take his pearl from his mouth. It all makes sense, really. It Just does. another afternoon for, for Link. I almost called him Nick. Fuck. Man, this motherfucker is the craziest little bitch I ever did see. <laughs> he is, that, man. That soup looks like honey in that bottle. It does. It's That's... Like, oh, God. Can you imagine trying to chug honey? I can see Winnie the oh, Pooh just beating fuck. the shit out of Link and just fucking taking his <laughs> pot of honey. That looks just like a pot of honey. And then Winnie the Pooh's always out, you know what I'm saying? Winnie the Pooh He's gonna be got all to be busy. an allegory for a crack addict. Uh, I mean, that's the dude, only he is. explanation. Like, dude, I think Disney was like, <laughs> <laughs> let's let's met, turn little kids into honey addicts. <laughs> Walt Disney was probably laughing and shit when he made those scripts. While making anti-Semitic remarks. Yeah, he was probably on LSD when he did it. Or honey. Or which honey. Would a lot. What? That's what. That's what they called it back then. It was called a honey. <laughs> <laughs> and you did a little honey on your bread and shit, and the next thing you know, you're tripping balls. You know, falling over yourself. <laughs> some shit. Seeing some fucking arms get larger than they are and shit. Like, I mean. Just, Watching the walls morph in on you. Walt Disney was a fuck up for sure. I wonder if that's what <laughs> I wonder if that's what Popeye went through whenever he swallowed spinach. Like he always seemed in control of himself, but it was probably just Roy. He rage. was probably just eating some like edibles, like that's some true. straight some like marijuana in a brownie or a sp like that. Probably wasn't even spinach. That's a good point. Like it, you know, that was probably like reefer madness. Like he was getting <laughs> reefer a, madness. He was getting like a spoonful of reefer. You know, Jesus. He, he was, Kicking that old school with the slang. Yeah, for sure. We'll he, see if we can bring it back around to the new school in the next episode. Tune in tomorrow, yes. guys, or we'll still be sailing. Indeed. Yeah. Fun. We're going to keep sailing. Yeah. Yep.